Hello friends, welcome to technical and programming. Okay, today I will teach how to create a employee management system project in C Sharp .NET. So first of all, open the Visual Studio. Then uh, click on uh, New Project option and select the Windows application. So see here, select Visual C Sharp. Then click on Windows. See here, select the Windows Forms application. Give the name of your project here. So my project name is Employee. employee management system then I click on ok so see here form 1 is uh, successfully created here so drag it and uh, large it so large, large it, drag and large it, and drag the sum tools in toolbox. Uh, so see here, toolbox is here. Go to view menu, and then uh, click on toolbox. Sorry. So toolbox is here. Uh, copy the sum tools label, label to copy the label, then copy button tool and then uh, text box tool text box tool so see here uh, right click on this form and uh, go to properties option and then uh, click on font and change the font so select the font is a Urbana. font style is a bold and font size is a 12 so see what is here. So copy this. Copy and paste here. Paste here. Paste here. Copy the label to this here. This is the label five and uh, drag the one uh, combo box. Combo box is here. Combo box. Drag the combo. Okay. Combo box is here. Change the size. Combo box is here. Okay. And copy the buttons. Copy. Paste. 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 Okay. So see here. So label one is the employee ID. Change the its text. Employee ID. Employee ID. See employee ID. Second one is the employee name. is the address fourth one is the salary fifth 
this one is a salary and last one is the or okay so see here button one is the new second button is the insert button third one is the update button and fourth one is the delete button and uh, copy this button paste here last one is the clear so go to its properties and use name Korea. Clear. Okay. So see ya. So change the form properties. So click on properties option. Start position is uh, set uh, center screen and window state is the maximizer. So see, see ya. Window state is a maximum. Save this form and run it. So form one is successfully designed. Then add the values here. So see here. Close it. Add the values here, phone box values. Click on this option, then click on edit items. So, row is the clerk, clerk manager, CEO. Then click on OK. So see here. Run this form. So see here. Values is here. OK. So create a database or store this values. So click on server explorer. See here. View. Then click on server explorer. Then click on this option. So see here. Then click on connect to database. Okay. So data source is the Microsoft SQL Server database file. Okay. And write the database file name. So my database file name is employee. Okay. Then click on. Okay. So see ya, click on test. So see ya, employee.mdf, the database file is successfully created. So open it, then right click on this uh, table option, then uh, click on add new table. Click on add new table. Table. So see here. Table is here. Give the table name is here. So see here. Give the table name here. Employee. Employee table. Okay. My table name is employee table and design the table. So
so first field field is the employee id okay so see here first field is employee id second field is employee name third field is address fourth is a salary fifth is a row so see here go to database file see here loading this design file and the database file path is here see here path is here c users akshay uh, documents employee dot mdf So see here, name is a first field is employee ID, employee ID, okay, data type is a numeric 18 0, second field is a employee name, Field is employee name, data type is the nvare care 50. Third one is the address, third again is the address. Okay, data type is nvare care 50. Fourth one is the salary, data type is a numeric 180. And last one is the row data type is a in market 50. So, so query is created here. So then click on update option. See here, click on update option. So update script is here preparing the update so then click on update data so see here uh, right click on and then uh, refresh this then click on table so see here employee table is here okay code for insert button so see here code for insert button double click on insert button then uh, add the header file is here using system dot data dot sql client so add the connection streak is here SQL connection con is the object of that connection new SQL connection see ya sorry see ya copy the connection string right click on this uh, database file then click on a properties option see here connection string is here click on this right click on this select all then copy the connection string and paste it here right click and paste here so okay see here connection string is here uh, so double click on insert button and write the code for insert operation so con dot open connection con is the object of that connection con dot open 
SQL command CMD is the object of that command move SQL command write the query for insert operation so see ya insert into table name temp my table name is employee employee table my table is here see here employee table and values okay see here single double plus plus double single text box one dot text text box one dot text comma single double plus 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 double single text box two dot text two dot text comma single double plus plus double single text box three dot text three dot text single double plus plus double single text box four dot text four dot and last one is the combo box so single double plus plus double single combo box one dot text combo box one see combo box one dot text okay combo box one dot text and object of that condition string comma call one is the object of that condition string see ya then cmd cmd is the object of sql command dot execute non query execute non query okay so then uh, message box dot show message box dot show insert data successfully insert data successfully insert data successfully com dot close com dot close okay save this for and then Right click on this show table data. See here, no data is available here. So run this form. Employee ID is a one. Employee name is a Akshay Kadam. Address is a Sangli. Salary is a twenty thousand. Role is a manager. Okay, then click on insert button. See here, insert button. So see here, insert data successfully. Okay, close it. Stop the debugging, and then then close it and uh, reopen it. Show table. So see here, data is here. Employee ID is a one. Employee name is Akshay Kadam. Address is a Sangli. Salary is a twenty thousand. And role is a manager. So data is successfully inserted in table. So okay. So write the code for a new button. So see here, run the project and type some 
values here and then click on a new option so clear it so okay double click on this uh, new option okay text box one dot text text box one dot text is equal to text box two dot text is equal to text box three dot text is equal to text box four dot text is equal to null here so save here rerun it see here so see here click on new option so data is clear so write the code for update button so see here double click on update button so connection is open connection is open SQL command see connection dot open SQL command CM is the object of that command is equal to new SQL command new SQL command update table name my table name is uh, employee employee table set employee name is equal to single double single double plus plus double single text box two dot text text box two dot text comma see here address is equal to address is equal to single double plus plus double single text box so three dot text text box three dot text comma then next field is a salary next field is a salary salary is equal to single double plus plus double single text box four dot Okay. Where employee ID is equal to single double plus plus double single text box one dot text. Okay. Text box one dot text uh, object of connection string here all is object of connection string then a cmd is object of that command dot execute non-query 
so this is a small query message box dot show dot show update data successful update data successfully so see con dot uh, con dot close so see ya. show table data my table data is here and employee name is akshay kada so my employee name is update so see ya. Run the project file. See, ID is a one. Name is a only Akshay. Address is the family. Salary is a twenty thousand. Road is a manager. Click on update button. So see, ya, update data successfully. So go on. See, ya, close it. So see ya, Akshay Kadam is here. And then now, uh, reopen it. Show table data. And see ya, employee name is Akshay. So, update data successfully is here. So then next uh, button is uh, write the code for delete button. So double click on uh, delete button. Connection open. Connection open. SQL command SQL command CMD is the object of that command is equal to new SQL command write the query for delete option so delete table name table name is employee table Where employee employee ID is equal to single double plus plus double single text box one text box one dot text object of condition string here con is the object of that condition string here then our cmd is object of that sql command dot uh, execute one query execute one query message box dot show delete data successfully so see ya delete data successfully com dot close so see ya save it and uh, click on uh, open the table show table data so table data is here one employee is a uh, one employee record is uh, saved in table so run the project and then type the id here one and then click on a delete option so see here delete data successfully click on ok close it so see here I click on this and then click on a show table data. Show table data. So see, employee record is successfully deleted. 
so then uh, last one is the clear button write the code for clear button so double click on the clear button text box one dot text one dot text is equal to text box so two dot text is equal to text box three dot text is equal to text box four dot text is equal to double code close it and save it and we run it project is running so see type the some values here and click on clear button data is clear so second is uh, no clear so see here so text box 2 is here missing text box 2 is here, two is here. so save it and rerun it so see ya file is one then click on clear so data is the clear successful so employee management system project is successfully created so i hope you like it and uh, subscribe to my channel technical and programming game and click on the bell icon for another updates so thanks for watching this video bye friends